Yes, um, I'm going to ask everybody, everybody, without an exception, to please switch off their cell phones. Everybody, please switch off the phones, and I'm going to ask the law enforcement officers if you cite anybody with a cell phone that is on and working on their cell phone in this court please alert me that person will be out of court and they will be forfeiting i'm saying it you will not have a hearing you will be losing your phone without having been given a hearing you can take me on review to the Supreme Court. So I'm announcing, and whoever comes in, please tell them that. All right. Uh, Mr. Engelbrecht, I think Mr. Mapopi was still under cross-examination. He must, unless there are issues that you want to address I don't first. know whether there was introductions or whatever the case may be, but I appear on behalf of the accused persons as before. Okay. The applicants in this court. And it's on my law. Yeah. Four, five, and six. Yeah. Mr. Mopopi, when you were in the north, where were you staying <coughs> after the warrant of arrest was issued? My mother's house. And where's your mother's house? In uh, Hongwena region. S sorry, yeah. My assistant just um, alerts me that I have not reminded the witness that he's still under oath and that he Mr. Mapopi, you are still under oath. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, that's you. Um, so you said you were at your mother's house? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you have a house yourself in the north? Yes, I have. Where in the north? I have in Onuno. And since when have you had that house? Oh. I think it's 20, 2016. And why did you not mention that house? What time? Um, in court proceedings, I don't recall you mentioning your house in the north. No, I didn't have any reason. Excuse me? No reason. Oh. Yeah, I was not asked. Um, I also just want to find out from you. You received that pro forma invoice from Flamingo Commodity Supplies, which you had to pay, correct? Yes. And you said you paid it? Yeah. Yes after you received the bank account details from Mr. Nicky? Yes. Um, how did you effect this payment? I made a transfer from my bank. Was it an EFT transfer? Yes. OK. Where you had to enter the account number? Yes. And the name of the entity where you're transferring the amount? Yes. And what name did you enter there? Flamingo. Just Flamingo? Yes. All right. Um, your Lordship, I have no further questions for the witness. No questions. No questions. No 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 I just have four or five questions for clarification.
you floated the, the close cooperation. I floated. Mm. Okay, which means you registered the close cooperation. Yes, Your Lordship. When did you register it? 2016. Which month? Uh, let me say between May and April. I'm not sure the, the month. May 2016. Or April 2016. In, in June 2016, you landed uh, a tender to deliver dried fish. Yes, your lordship. Did I hear you correct? That you. I, I remember in the previous proceedings, I'm not going to ask you the same question mm. what the invoice is, because you know. Mm. And did I hear you correct that you were paid before you even delivered the fish? Yes, your lordship. Did I then also hear you correct that you rendered consultancy services? Yes, your lordship. What was the staff complement of your close cooperation? I didn't have staff, but I didn't have staff myself. And you did not have staff. You rendered consulting services for an amount of nine million. Yes. The first invoice that you generated and issued was issued on 19 January 2017. Yes, your lordship. And that was for consultancy services for January 2017 <coughs> to June 2017. Yes. You got paid in January for work that has to be done in June. As I said, the consultants, the work itself of doing it, started around about 2016 September down to 2017. Did, did you hear my question, Mr. Mapopi? Mm. <coughs> On 9 January 2017, on 9 January 2017, you issued an invoice to Deep Ocean. Oh, Deep Ocean. Yes. Oh, for okay. consultancy services. For work done between January 2017 and June 2017. Yes. So that's what I'm asking. You got paid in January for the work that has to be done in June. For the period from January to June. You invest in June, in January? Yes. You got paid for work that has to be done in June? For the period between January and June. Okay. And in June, June 2017, you again send an invoice for work that has to be done between July and December 2017. Yes, Your Lordship. And in August, you again invoice. Yes, Your Lordship. For what was the invoice of August? It, it, it was the same job. What is the same job? For the same consultation. And then, on the 21st of December 2017, <coughs> you again invoice for work that has to be done from January 2018 to December 2018. Yes, Your Lordship. 
and your contract was terminated in 2018, in March 2018. But your lordship, you said deep ocean. Yes, it, it, all these invoices are deep ocean invoices that I have to refer to. The contract which is, I refer you that terminated. The con deep ocean was paying in terms of the contract that I have with uh, Wanyamba Investment CC. So that contract is not terminated. It was still valid until 2019. Which contract? The one between Wanakadu and Wanyamba Investment CC. No, I'm ask, did you invoice uh, Wanyamba Trust? No. No, yeah, I'm so, I'm, you never told me in this code about a, uh, that you were invoiced by Wanyamba. You were invoicing Deep Ocean. Because I was doing job for... Yeah, all that I'm asking you yes. is that all your invoices are in December, yes. are in 2017. Yes. First in January, yes. then in June, yes. then in August, yes. and then in December. Yes. Now the December one yes. is for work yes. that was to be done from January yes. 2018 yes. to December 2018. Yes. In December 2017. Yes. And you got paid. Yes. But if I hear you correct, Your Lordship, you are talking of the word yes, termination. I'm coming to it. First, take it step by step. You don't go to the eighth floor without having climbed the seventh floor. But First, get to the seventh floor. But I want to correct the Lordship there. The contract that was terminated. No, no, I have not yet come to the contract yet. When I ask you the question of contract, you... Okay. Yes. Now, did I hear your testimony correctly that from 2018, April 2018, to December 2018, you did not render services to Deep Ocean because your contract was terminated? No, your lordship. That is a different, that's a low key oh, it, it, issue. Oh, it's not, uh, it's not this one. That's a low key issue oh, that you are not, talking. Not Th that issue. you are talking. Oh. No, no, I just wanted to, to get clarity. No, no, that, that's a low key. Okay. I never had a contract with Deep Ocean. Oh, oh. I never had a contract with Deep, deep, deep Ocean. But you invest Deep Ocean? Yes, on the, on the, on, on the instruction from uh, Wayamba Investment. CC that came to it to be a trust in October. Okay. Yeah. So, with Fishco, you got paid before you rendered services. Yes. With Deep Ocean, you got paid before you rendered services. By. It was advance payment. No, I'm asking. Yes. Yes. I just want to see, and with Loki, you also got paid before you rendered services. With Loki, I've rendered services before. Come to Mr. Where are the invoices of Loki? The last exhibits that were submitted before court. I just want to see from my file what exhibit number they I just want to get clarity. So you say with with low key, you only invest after you render services. In the well, while I was busy rendering the services, in the middle of giving my services. Do, do you have the invoices for low key? Can can you just because my then my notes are somewhere wrong.
Mr. Mr. Little Betty, the invoices for Loki are on which page? Uh, those those were attached to the statement. Which statement? We, for Mr. Perez, there was a statement from Mr. Perez where they were attached. Um, we can maybe just move things along. We can provide an additional. Oh, yeah, let me just have a look at it quickly. As it was a court. Okay. Just show them to him. Yes. Show them to him. Now I see, yeah, low key, your invoice is dated 4 January 2017. Yes. You have a quantity of 12, a quantity of 12, and a quantity of 10. For which services rendered when was this invoice generated? The services started in September. What does 12 indicate? 12, there is 12, quantity 12, vessel repair and maintenance. And it says 2017, it doesn't say 2016. Yes, I've been doing consultancy since 2017. I mean 2016, September. No, no, what I'm saying, you are saying you rendered the services in 2016. Yes, starting but from 2016. You are invoicing 2017, that's what I'm asking. Yes. If you can just explain to me, if you rendered the services in 2016, why do you say it's 2017? This is the day that I gave the invoice. No, no. 4 January 2017 is the date of the invoice. Yes. And then there is quantity. Yes. Look at the invoice. Yes. It says 12. Yes. It says description. Vessel repair and vessel maintenance. Vessel management fees. No, no. Vessel repair and, and maintenance. 2017. Yes. That's what I'm asking. You are saying you did it in 2016, but your invoice is saying 2017. Did you provide food? For Loki's crew? I was not providing food. I was consulting in that uh, area of food for crew. Okay, no, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the invoice. The quantity is 10. And then the description is food for crew. Th that's why I'm explaining the description, Your Lordship. You will only understand it when I, I explain it, me that was involved in this transaction, in this. Uh, consultants in this agreement. Okay, explain it to me. Food for crew, what, is, what does that mean? I was consulting in that area of, of like... You know, consulting is, is, is a very generic term. It's a term that oh, okay. can mean anything. Yeah, Just, yeah. What, was it, what, was it, what were you consulting for food for crew? In a nutshell, as I said, uh, this is... I don't like. want a nutshell. I want you to tell me what you were consulting on food for crew. Food safety, mm -hmm. the standard that, that they have to follow, the personal hygiene of, 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 of crew members, how to store the food, the purchase, where to purchase, to the, store, the storage, where to supply them. Either you, if you want to take a catering or you buy yourself, so, that is it, uh, my lordship. I don't have my report yet to start listing everything that. Okay. I, never, I don't have the, those facts with me. Okay. 
second. Okay, now we can. Okay, now I see. This is a. The second invoice. Yes, Is 15 February. Yes. And it's again consultation fees. Yes. For 2018. Yes. January to December. Yes. So the the, the first one Jan the the for, the four January 2017 invoice is for consultation from 2016 up to the December 2017. Yes. So which means you then also got paid for February, March, April, May, June, July, December, September, October, November, in January already. The payment was not done in January. Okay, but you invoiced it there. I, I invoiced it. In January. In January. For up to December. Up to December. Okay. And again, in February, you invoiced for January up to December 2018. Yes. And you got paid. I got paid. And this is where you said your contract was terminated in March. Between March and April. Uh, I don't have a specific date. And you were paid for up to December. Yes, they, they paid me up to December. Thank you. I have no further question for clarity. Any questions arising from the court's question? No, All right. Just one thing, I wanted clarity. And strictly on questions that the court has asked, no other questions? Yes, Your Lordship. Right. Um, on the first invoice, which was issued on the 4th of January, on food for crew, you indicated that you don't have a report with you. Yes. Is it just one report that you compiled for them? No, it is it's reports. How many reports? I'm not sure now, but, but it's not one. Oh, okay. Um, the quantity there, which is 10, is that the number of reports that you compiled? Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's just to indicate how many times perhaps I need to, to be doing this myself. To be consulting? Y yes. You can yeah. put it that way. All right. Uh, no further questions, Your Lordship. By lots of that is the case for applicant number six. No further witnesses to call. All right. Um, Mr. Ngapopi, thank you for having come to testify. Your excuse, you may step down. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Mr. Mwapopi, the bundle of exhibits, um, not your file, not your personal one, the bundle of exhibits, which Mr. Lutibeti handed to you, you can give it back here. out again, my lord, that this is accused number two, three, and six for the purposes of the criminal trial. And, and the reason I'm making that distinction, my lord, is um, to avoid any discrepancy on the record between what is said in the affidavits 
that have been presented to the court and the, uh, the record of the bail proceedings. Now, Malud, um, perhaps I should start off by making this point that in respect of applicants one, two, and three, they apply by bail, for bail by way of notice of motion accompanied by each of their affidavits. Uh, Malud, as I understand it, and I'm sorry I was not here at the time, uh, that is, the, those affidavits have been handed as part of the court proceedings. They certainly if, were if handed. They reach, if they reach the court bench? Yes. Uh, I, I don't think those affidavits have been submitted I, yet. I, I haven't seen them. Yes, no, I, I don't think they've submitted them yet. Lord, I have, uh, and, and the reason I said it is, I do have the court stamp in respect of each of the registrars. The registrars yes. stamp. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but again, my lord, the idea is to take the process forward. Yeah. Uh, I because I have no. I I, I am aware that yes. the applicant number one, two, and three. Yes. Are not going to testify. Yes but they move by way of notice of motion supported by affidavit. That's right. Uh, but I can recall having seen the notice of motion and the affidavit. Yes. Um, so if, if, it were, if they were filed at the registrar's office, I then need to take a, an adjournment for me to locate their whereabouts. As, as my lord pleases. Yes. I, I apologize for that. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's not a, it's, you see, we were all, all these two past weeks in December and now more focused on the testimony mm -hmm. than on anything else. No, uh, yeah, so know. I'll just need to see with the registrar yes. uh, whether those, that notice of motion with the supporting affidavit have been filed and if they have been filed where they are. Yes. You have copies? Um, we were provided with copies. Mm -hmm. I was not aware that they were filed with the registrar, your lordship, but it's fine, it's not, it's not okay. an issue. Yeah. Um, the court will then adjourn for us to locate the whereabouts of them. Is it only one affidavit or two? There are three. Three affidavits. Th three notices of motion and three affidavits, uh, each accompanied by an affidavit. All right, thank you. Court will rise. Oh, God.